Step into a time capsule of memories. Explore the power of family as siblings reconnect in a forgotten garden. So, let's embark on our narrative journey. Elmwood, a busy city, had a secret, a hidden garden hidden by weeds and forgotten memories. Three grown-up brothers and sisters, Amelia, Liam, and Daniel, hadn't been back to their childhood home in years. Now, brought together by the sad news of their parents' death, they stood before the rusty iron gates, all kinds of feelings hitting them at once. Amelia, the eldest with a sharp lawyer's mind, hid her grief behind a controlled facade. Liam, the middle child known for his travel writing, masked his sadness with a quick joke. Daniel, the youngest and an artist, seemed lost in thought. This house, once a haven of happy memories, and their parents' warm cookies, now felt like a faded dream. Following a dusty path, they pushed open the creaking gate. The garden, once a riot of colorful flowers and neat hedges, was overgrown. Yet, glimpses of its former beauty peeked through, a single rose clinging to life, a moss-covered stone lantern, a birdbath brimming with rainwater. As they walked deeper, memories flickered, like fireflies in the twilight. Amelia remembered her mom's gentle touch as she learned about roses. Liam recalled hiding games in the fragrant lavender bushes with his siblings. Daniel cherished the quiet moments, spent sketching the old oak tree with his dad, a silent language of love passing between them. Under a weeping willow, they discovered a weathered wooden chest. Inside, worn gardening journals and faded photographs spoke of their parents' love for this hidden paradise. Tears welled up as they read their parents' heartfelt messages, each word urging them to care for the garden and the memories it held. Inspired, the siblings decided to bring the garden back to life. They spent days clearing weeds, planting seeds, and nurturing the remaining flowers. With each cleared patch and each flower that bloomed, they weren't just restoring a garden, they were mending their relationships and rediscovering their shared history. Days turned into weeks. The initial awkwardness slowly melted away as they worked side by side. Laughter filled the air as they unearthed forgotten toys and unearthed memories. One afternoon, while weeding a neglected patch, Amelia stumbled upon a familiar sight, a small ceramic ladybug, once a prized possession from their childhood. A wave of warmth washed over her, and she shared the memory with Liam and Daniel. Suddenly, the garden wasn't just about flowers and plants, it became a bridge connecting them to their past. They remembered lazy summer afternoons, spent playing in the garden, their parents' gentle guidance, and the feeling of belonging that only family can provide. As the garden bloomed anew, so too did the bond between them. Laughter and tears mingled as they shared stories, their individual burdens lifting with each shared task. Standing in the middle of the sweet-smelling flowers, with the city lights twinkling in the distance, the siblings realized something important. Their parents' gift to them wasn't just the house or the garden, but the love they had raised them with. That love was growing again, strong and beautiful, just like the flowers all around them. Congratulations on completing a sibling reunion in the Forgotten Garden! Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the key words and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, secret, something that is kept hidden or unknown. Number two, weeds, wild plants growing where they are not wanted. Number three, forgotten, no longer remembered. Number four, childhood, the period of being a child. Number five, hitting them at once, experiencing many emotions simultaneously. Number six, sharp, having a quick, intelligent mind. Number seven, controlled, maintained or restrained. 
Number 8. Facade, a false appearance or front. Number 9. Quick joke, a humorous remark made swiftly. Number 10. Haven, a place of safety or refuge. Number 11. Faded, having lost brightness or vividness. Number 12. Creaking gate, a gate making a prolonged, grating sound when opened. Number 13. Riot, a collection of something bright and showy. Number 14. Hedges, rows of shrubs or small trees planted close together. Number 15. Glimpses, brief or partial views. Number 16. Clinging to life, barely surviving. Number 17. Moss covered, overgrown with moss. Number 18. Brimming, filled to the top. Number 19. Flickered, shone with a wavering light. Number 20. Fragrant, having a pleasant smell. Number 21. Sketching, drawing a rough or unfinished picture. Number 22. Silent language of love, communicating affection without words. Number 23. Weeping willow, a type of tree with drooping branches. Number 24. Weathered, worn by long exposure to the weather. Number 25. Heartfelt, sincere and deeply felt. Number 26. Urging, encouraging or prompting. Number 27. Clearing, removing unwanted plants. Number 28. Restoring, bringing back to its original condition. Number 29. Mending, repairing or improving. Number 30. Rediscovering, finding again. Number 31. Awkwardness, a feeling of discomfort or unease. Number 32. Melted away, gradually disappeared. Number 33. Unearthed, dug up or discovered. Number 34. Stumbled upon, found by chance. Number 35. Bridge connecting, something that links or joins together. Number 36. Anew, in a new or different way. Number 37. Mingled, mixed or combined. Number 38. Burdens, heavy loads or responsibilities. Number 39. Lifting, removing or lightening. Number 40. Twinkling, shining with a flickering or sparkling light. Number 41. Grown up, an adult. Number 42. Grief, deep sorrow, especially caused by someone's death. Number 43. Masked, concealed or hidden. Number 44. Lost in thought, deeply absorbed in one's own thoughts. Number 45. Welled up, filled with an emotion to the point of overflowing, usually tears. Number 46. Worked side by side, collaborated closely with others. Number 47. Washed over, a sudden feeling that overwhelms someone. Number 48. Prized possession, an item that is highly valued and cherished. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.